and good morning and welcome to Dan's Diary. Also, welcome and thank you very much to the 109 subscribers that we now have. I know I say this every week, this is more than I could ever have imagined and I thank you very, very much for watching it. Right, well today is Tuesday. Um, it rained all, like last week, it rained all last week. It rained on Saturday as I thought it might. It rained on Sunday, it rained on Monday. Today's Tuesday, it's, it's, it's um, that half rain where it rains and then it, it's dry for a bit and then it rains again and then it's dry for a bit and it rains again. So that's Tuesday. Uh, Joel rang me or, or sent me a message and said he wasn't going to send the guys down there to today just to let them dry out a bit and to let the site dry out a bit. So oh, that's fine. I'm not too bothered about uh, delays at the minute. Uh, I think I worked out we've delayed for a week and a half out of eight or nine weeks. Percentage wise that's quite high but I'm in no hurry. I don't want the guys dying of pneumonia. I certainly don't want any uh, drownings on site. So what we're going to do, we're just going to relax and see what happens. Uh, so without further ado, let's go down on site and see what's what. This is it on a wet Wednesday. Uh, the weather has given us two minutes in between showers all day. So whether I walk on that lot in a minute is very debatable. I suppose I'm here, I might as well try, but it's going to be wet. You can see the guys are uh, preparing the end left-hand side ring beam. That one's already got the formwork ready for concrete pour. These two guys are just uh, putting the finishing touches to the stirrups and uh, fastening it down to the reinforcing in the columns. There's a big old span over there. I want to take you over there to see that. Main door area for the uh, little windows. And you've got the big span that's all now been made at the front and the back. The ring beam's been done around the kitchen, you can see in the dining room. Uh, there's a bit of progress going on even if it's raining. And Joel tells me he's going to do a little bit more on that by the end of the week. And I suppose you're wondering why I haven't had them move the bags. Well we're going to fill them with earth and put them down the embankment at the back of the property to act as soil stabilisation. Look at that. I've only been here about 10 minutes and it's raining like mad. So I'm not going to stand out in that. You can't blame me, can you? Um, yes, I think progress this week will be a little bit on the low side. Right, there's the two, three layers of block work above the continuous span to form the window lights window lights the window bits at the top there's the ring beam all formed down there and uh, that reinforcing bars there those reinforcing bars are going to form the slab over the garage this is from the inside so there's your three layers of block with the windows and they're doing their three la four layers of block over there because that's solid
and they'll be doing they just they've put a, 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 a line up there I don't know whether you can see it on the screen see if I can zoom in there you can just see you can just see the line going across and there'll be a set of skylight windows above that beam as well going all the way across Here's the, he is the sensible adult trying to uh, walk on the mud it could all end arse over tit if she's not careful you can see my shoes <laughs> Get right over here. Okay, here we go. You can see what they've done. Today is Friday, so we have the ring beam ready for pouring in the next couple of days. I'm told by Joel. The floor, the slab over there is ready for pouring with reinforcement bars in it or a mesh should I say a ring beam's been done there ring beam's been done there and they're going to be putting the three laser block and the window opening um, this afternoon hopefully We just move a little bit over here. Okay, here we have the that you you all know by now is the toilet window, bedroom door, bedroom window, bedroom window, and there's a little bedroom window over on the side there. I think that was the column that we saw them pouring the other day. Yes, it was, wasn't it? So that's the column we saw them pour. They've taken the formwork off and they've reused that somewhere else. Yeah. We're getting there. Here you can see the two masons um, linking the ring, no, linking the wall reinforcement in with the column reinforcement, and then they will do the the concrete work to make it all solid you know there must be a stream down there because I can hear the sound of rushing water don't know whether it's it's coming over on the microphone I mean there's no dogs barking there's no nothing and I can hear the sound can you hear that That's an, a nice, soothing noise. You see, since I've been here, which is only, I just walked across the soil there to take those two videos of the sound of water rushing by. And he's laid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks on there. So they're not hanging about. Oh, look at that for a bright sunny day. Incredible, as the Germans would say. Very, very good. Now I've got to walk on that, so wish me luck. Let's go. Well, this is a new bit. I'm standing on top of the slab above the garage. That's the view you're going to get right from the bedroom.
Yeah, not bad. Right, so what we've got here, they've set out the where the slab's going to be. They've set out, they've put the re reinforcing bars in. They're starting to put the power points in, where they want the power points to go. Obviously I'll have a bit of a say in that. So I'm standing in the bedroom. So I think, well, I know that's the bathroom. This bit here. This bit here is a bedroom. That bit there is the kitchen. And then this area here uh, is all open plan. Uh, so there you go. I'll tell you where the door is. Shall I walk over there? I know it's safe, but I just don't know it's safe. If you see what I mean. So maybe it won't go any farther than this. So that area there is some kind of a living area. This area here is some kind of a living area. Open plan to the kitchen. Doors there with a the little patio. Uh, patio. With a, a thing. A lobby before you get to the door and there is there's actually a balcony that goes over there I can't see whether they've done that or not I'll, I'll have a look in a minute it, it doesn't look as, as if they have because I can see the rebar and the ring beam and I know that's on the wall so this slab goes beyond it now you can see They've done the brickwork up to the where the wall's going to finish uh, in the living area. They've got the two lights, two window areas open on either side. So I think. Yes, the ex the, the, ah, there's a wall there that goes up because this roof here slopes that way. I was rather hoping that was going to be open so I could have a view from the balcony down, but it doesn't look as if I can. Not to worry. Hmm. Ring beam's all done over there and finished. That's as high as that bit's going. This bit in the middle has got a, 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 a like a domed roof on it. Uh, the dining, dining room and the kitchen has got a sloping roof that way and a sloping roof that way, that way and that way. And this area's got one more height to go. Mm. Well that is the little tree we saw growing <clears throat> that I magnified. You can see it's, it's establishing itself and those are the other two. <laughs> I'll tell you what, for all intents and purposes, I'm tempted to just leave them there because they're not harming anything. I don't think the roots go that big. I don't know, yeah, maybe they might. We, we don't want anything messing with the foundations, do we? Maybe take those two out and stick them over there where that other one is. Right, now you can see on those, on that block work above or below the formwork, there's smears of concrete. So they've obviously formed those ring beams and we're waiting until Monday before they take the slabs off, before they take the formwork off, and then they'll shift it over the other side of the building to the garage and reuse it. Makes perfect sense. Do you know I still do? I'll tell you what, any ideas from any of you architectural or arty people and that's not meant as a slur 
I would thoroughly welcome it as to what do I do with this back here. <clears throat> Send us a sketch and it will definitely be considered because I have no idea what to do with it. Um, send us a sketch in the comments or somehow you've got my email address if I I think I mentioned it in an earlier video send send it to me and the winner if you're ever in Batan I'll stick you up for a night how's that with some red horse and a bottle of whiskey Right then, that's that. And well, that's all for this week. I thank you very much for watching so far to the end of the reel. Only the bloopers left. I give my heartfelt thanks to the subscribers. I give my heartfelt thanks to those that do not subscribe because I know there are quite a lot of you. Why aren't you subscribing? <laughs> what have I done wrong? If you've got any suggestions on how to improve what I should do with this external area uh, or how to improve my membership, particularly the, the female variety, I, I, I would welcome a comment. So, thank you all very much and I'll see you all next week. At the same time, bye-bye. Hi everyone, and uh, I've just looked at the stats for last week and the female percentage of viewers is increasing. Uh, thank you ladies. <laughs> thank you ladies. And the uh, location of everyone ranges from the Philippines, United Kingdom, USA, I think we've got some in uh, Canada, Malaysia, ah, we're worldwide. Good morning everybody and how are we today? Uh, it's not much better, I've got to be honest. It's uh, Tuesday, Monday, rain all day. Tuesday, uh, the work... Oh, a stunning 109 very good people in the world those are my subscribers who have born with me through these awful videos well what can I tell you Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> well, if you can hear me through this, uh, I think next door's dogs are getting fed, or about to get fed. Mine's about to get fed. And that's how much that's bothered. <laughs> and here you can see you can see five seconds into visiting the site and it's throwing it down with rain again let me put the wipers on a bit um, there are a couple of brave souls out there the ones with water wings you can see them so thank you everybody for Thanks everyone for attending my uh, lecture this week. I hope you found it entertaining. I am 